After the Civil War, Ohio metal producers began to find a new way to process iron. The result was a new metal that would rebuild the once fractured country, steel. Ohio became the second largest producer of steel in the nation by the 1890s. But in the latter part of the 20th century, Ohio steel mills, as well as mills across the country, faced new competition from foreign steel manufacturers. As a result of this competition, steel companies in Ohio declined. But since 1955, one Columbus-based company remains as strong as the steel it produces. When we look at Worthington Steel and what we do, we're basically a steel processor. We currently have the plant we're standing in, in Columbus, Ohio. We also have a plant in Monroe, Ohio, uh, a little north of Cincinnati, south of Dayton. And we also have a plant in Delta, Ohio, which is about 25 miles west of Toledo. So we have three locations, steel locations, in the state of Ohio. We also have other Worthington industry companies located in the state of Ohio. A lot of people will say today, my goodness, all the manufacturing is moving out of Ohio and our manufacturing base is being destroyed. And quite frankly, there is a lot of business moving from the state of Ohio. But the state of Ohio is still a very large manufacturing state. The three largest manufacturing states still, and steel consuming states, are still Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana, are one, two, three. Worthington Steel was the idea of Mr. John H. McConnell, who became one of the real business leaders in the city of Columbus. Mr. Mack wrote out the, the tablets, and it's, it's our commandments of how we should live our lives from a business standpoint, and basically it revolves around the golden rule, and it basically says we treat our customers, our employees, our suppliers the way we would like to be treated and that goes throughout the organization. It's why we're a big important factor in the community and Mr. McConnell, especially when he started, he felt that Worthington and the city of Columbus should be major league. So he's had a big impact, not just by the jobs he's created, but by the donations from Worthington Industries to the favorite charities that Worthington helps in the city of Columbus and surrounding areas. And behind the millions of tons of steel that Worthington produces are thousands of men and women of steel who run the operation. I've been here for 19 years. I started out here on the tandem mill, worked my way up through, operated every mill here. My favorite part is uh, working with them people I've been around with for 19 years here. My mom, she works in the lab. My little brother works in annealing maintenance, and my sister works in uh, shipping. My family's all worked here at Worthington Industries because of the Worthington philosophy, an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. When we look at what we produce at Worthington Steel, uh, there's a lot of different opportunities uh, for people to see our product in the field. If you get into your car and you buckle your seatbelt, it's a good chance it's a Worthington seatbelt buckle. If you were driving alongside the road and you saw a construction project, it's a good chance it's Worthington Steel. And the effects from this very industrial part of Ohio are even felt in the most rural regions of the state. When we look at the agricultural industry from a Worthington standpoint, we certainly look 
very hard at applications, whether it's uh, Caterpillar, whether it's John Deere, Case New Holland, um, all those companies we have relationships with. If you go past a grain bin anywhere in the country, we probably have some of that steel going into that green bin. Most people don't recognize the part that steel plays in their everyday lives, but it's a, it's a huge industry and it affects whether you're building bridges, whether you're building automobiles, farm implements, you will see that product every day. And again, it may not be important to people as they drive by, just like plastic might not be important to me, but to the people of Worthington Steel Company, steals everything to us.